following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, rockers and cockers? Welcome in to another edition of the Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your not-at-all-humble host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. Smash the like button. But most importantly, engage in the comment section. Look, the most common comment I get in my comment section is, bro, you should have more subscribers. Well, YouTube would promote my channel, but they need engagement. So I found a way around it. All you have to do when you're done watching the video, yes, you can comment. Yes, you can leave your thoughts. But the least you can do when you're done watching the video, throw me a horns emoji down in the comment section. According to YouTube, that's all the engagement I need to help promote the channel. We just cracked 21,000. I'm looking to get to 30. So let's get those horns down in the comment section hook a brother up. If you have a band song or a video that you would like me to check out and make a video on, the best place to get me your suggestion, I've got all my socials, all my email, everything down there, but the best place to get me your suggestion is the Discord server. It's free to, dis to subscribe or to describe either way. Get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests. Read the pinned message, please. Drop a link, a brief description. I will get to it when I can. Plus, every Saturday's live stream are live reaction Saturdays. But you got to be at the Discord server so that you know how to get me your suggestion. Today's suggestion, believe it or not, is coming from the band. Today we are back with a band that back in 2010 I thought was one of the top forefront melodic metal bands. So today we are with All That Remains. This is their third single from their upcoming album. They will be touring with Megadeth and Mudvayne. I'll have all of that linked down in the description below. So we're back with All That Remains. This is a track called Let You Go. It's on the wild side. Let's check it out. Yeah.
You know, I'm going to say the same thing with this that I said, I believe in 2010 from the Overcut album when they dropped two weeks and I was in my office. I remember I was in my office and, the, and two weeks came across and I pulled it up and I dropped it into my system or into my software and I had my speakers and everything set up and I'd never heard of All That Remains. This is brand new for me. Um, and I remember my boss was like, hey, check these guys out. You know, we're getting ready to add them, you know we have categories, you know, how much spin and how much rotation they're going to get. And I remember just listening to his vocals and, and the song. And the first thing I said was, yeah, that's an A. That's an A category track right there, man. That is exactly what I'm looking for with my melodic metal. You can call it harmonic core. You know, I've heard of all kinds of names for it. I don't like labels as we've done. So I'm just going to say that that's just straight up rocks. That is all that remains their latest track, let you go considering what the band has been through with changes in lineup the loss of Ali you're talking about a great example of evolution and growth one of the things I like about this track is the is the balance here there's a really good balance in this track it never goes far beyond what I call my spectrum I'm not that I'm not talking about that one so I have a color spectrum in my head Everything is assigned a color in a song. Sometimes it's scenic, other times it may be kaleidoscopic. But these colors have parameters and they have limits. Anything that goes outside or, or, or gets too deep into a color, it starts to throw the sound off. And what I really like about All That Remains that I've always heard from them is this perfect balance. They have such great balance of modernity with their influence. So you're hearing that all that stuff going all the way back to like King Diamond and things like that. You're hearing those tones and those colors in there, but you're also catching this very unique modernity with Phil's vocals. And I've said it before, and I'll it, going all the way back to hearing them the first time. I love his vocals. His vocals cover, they, they cover this really nice, subtly difficult spectrum. Okay, some singers can only stay here. Some singers can only go here. Phil has the ability to cover the entirety of the spectrum. And when I talk about balance, you can hear that balance in his vocals. Never once in the track, and it's almost a signature, all right? It's almost a signature. When you listen to other bands that do the growls and the deep drops, sometimes they may stay a little bit too long in those hallways, and it can create an imbalance in the track but the thing about phil and again I, I believe it's almost his vocal signature is that he is able to go from these really bright life colors in his vocals like the yellows and the greens and the popping blues those wonderful life breathing colors that come through his harmony so when he's harmonizing right those those, those registers of non-calamitous vocal they're beautiful colors that come through in his vocals. And then even when he drops down into the angst-driven, the aggressive, but not yet growling vocals yet, just that deep metal vocal, it's still harmonic. There's still nice life to the colors, even though they're the darker purples and the darker greens and the heavy reds, they are glossy. Um, they're, they're rich in their texture. Like, it's, it's like a, a pool of water you can put your hand down into, right? Then when he drops down into those growls, sometimes bands do, a, do growls for compensation. What I love about Phil and All That Remains is when they drop into that dirty growl, it's, it's for effect. And they never stay there too long. And when he does stay in there for a chorus, he matches the harmony. So he's harmonizing in the bright, life colors and then he gets down into those growls with those browns and that that foundational tone that he has and it's still this nice thick rich texture but what i really want to point out here is is anthony barone the thing that attracts me a lot to all that remains is this controlled maelstrom from the drums your drums are your heartbeat your drums your drums and your bass are the foundation of the track they build the bridges they create the bridges between uh, verse, chorus, verse. So it's difficult. It, it's like this band is playing double dutch, and the drummer and the bass are supposed to be doing this. 
what I really love about Barone is that sometimes he'll hand the, the ropes to other people and jump in there and do these really sweet, crazy changes in time signature, crazy changes in, in rhythmic pulse, but they occur. And here's, here's very important. It takes me time to, to find it when I'm listening to his drums and I've isolated his drums in my head and I've assigned them the color and I'm listening to them and I'm trying to focus on the down. I'm trying to find the one, you know, trying to keep with him. <coughs> Excuse me. You have a predictive AI in your head when you listen to music. You've listened to so much music in your life that you expect songs to go in certain ways at certain times. What I love about this cat is that he will go a certain way that you're expecting and then real quick do something unexpected, but yet it makes sense. So even though to you it's unexpected, within the confines of the song and the composition itself, everything flows perfectly. And that's what tells you that this guy's rhythmic pulse is natural. He is in a natural groove when playing with the bass and the two guitar players and those vocals. He understands the double dutch. So he knows exactly, it's, it's Keith Moon-esque when you listen to it because so much else is going on with the twin guitar attack, the throbbing bass, Phil's vocals are just dripping all over the place. So the drummer is finding these really sweet, subtly creative ways to get those fills in there that almost take it out of the time signature and then fall right back in. So even though it, it sounds um, out of place, everything flows. What's great about this track right here, and this is where I'll wrap up, the thing that makes me say this is an A category song here is because there's no sharp edges. Yes, the song is aggressive. Yes, it's loud. And I love the drums. I love the vocals. That guitar solo is straight out of 1987, right? I really dig that. But nothing is sharp. Sorry, I popped that P right there. Nothing is sharp. All of the Everything is smooth. There, there's no, there's no um, right? Does that make sense? You're not going to get the, you get it right from the beginning and it, and it stays throughout the track, but nowhere in the track is anything off to the, to the ear. All the colors flow smoothly. Everything transitions perfectly into each other and Phil's vocals harmonizing the entire time are really the interconnecting weave that go through this track so that the rest of the band is allowed to play that double dutch. And it's really kind of going along with Phil's vocals and Phil's vocals are going along with the musicians and it's this really great symbiotic sound that comes from this band and i've never been disappointed by all that remains i love the guys going all the way back to overcome i've always said bro that's a category harmonic metal at its best so thank you very much the guys from the band for the suggestion i hope to be talking to you really soon they will be playing nashville i believe september 19th at memorial auditorium with Mudvayne. i will link everything down below they're on the road with megadeth and Mudvayne. some of the shows megadeth isn't playing not sure why just a scheduling thing i'm sure so again thank you very much for the suggestion guys if you like the band, have a suggestion, all you have to do is get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, read the pin message, drop a link, a brief description, I will get to it when I can. All that remains, Let You Go, the third single released from the new album. Thank you again for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me on the east side of Music City. Again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're hitting that notification, the like button, but most importantly, get down in that comment section and throw me some horns. All right, cockers, again, thank you for taking time out of your day. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side.